stop. Don't respond. Don't respond. You ain't even peep when the intro came on with the Teddy Pendergrass. That was that black fire. Don't do it. Rick Ross reacts to Kendrick Lamar's diss to Drake. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, Rick Ross has reacted to Kendrick Lamar's new diss song to Drake called Euphoria. Some people say that Kendrick's winning now. Some people feel like it was a bit of a weak diss. Very mixed bag of reactions online. But Rick Ross, of course, who's in a feud with Drake, has sided with Kendrick. Check out the clip. White boy, white boy, white boy. Crody, Crody, Crody. Do they even have Wi-Fi on that cargo plane? He may not even heard this yet, but look. White boy, I know we not friends, but let me give you this advice because you ain't got nobody around you. Or you ain't got no real. Let me just put it like that. Ain't no real. Stop. Don't respond. Don't respond. You ain't even peep when the intro came on with the Teddy Pendergrass. That was that black fire. Don't do it. Don't go write an eight minute verse that I know, Yachty, I know you want to get that money. You ain't wrong to keep buying them big houses, but I'm going to tell you this like a real. Ain't no more BBLs. Ain't no more fillers. Ain't no more cheek fillers. Yeah, fam. I ain't gonna lie, Rick Ross is actually quite funny. That beginning line where he describes Drake's private jet as a cargo plane doesn't have Wi Fi, that he won't get this message till later on. I didn't know this guy was funny. I did not know this guy was funny. But he's basically telling Drake, don't respond. You've lost it already. Don't come out with some long verse. And he even poked fun again that he has ghostwriters. He said, don't get. Don't let little Yadi write you a song for you. And I ain't gonna lie, Ricky's actually winning this beef with Drake. Although we wanna hear it on music, but this online game he's doing is, I think it's like, I think it's clear, he's clearly in the lead. But one thing I don't like is this whole race thing they keep talking about. Like, he's calling Drake a white boy again. In a kind of derogatory term, in my opinion. But hey, I don't know, I guess people are finding it acceptable. I've not heard anyone reference Drake's race in the 10 or 15 years he's been around really all of a sudden they're calling him white boy when we clearly see his dad is black go figure but that last bit that really made me laugh is when he starts talking about no more bbls for drake no more lip fillers yo drake's got to come out and really confirm or deny whether he had these fake abs put on i know this was a few years ago and that was the word out there he never denied it personally think that drake's gonna come out and speak on this abs thing if on the next this song like you probably take the route of making fun of Rick Ross's belly and then confirm or deny he had any work done on his belly that would be quite funny that would be a good one but I don't think it's that wide that Kendrick won I think it's pretty much a draw read I would actually put Drake ahead in terms of the first round especially since he did the Tupac thing even though he took an L for that legally um, creativity wise that was a good move so I would just put Drake just ahead of Kendrick after that first round but Rick Ross, keep with the jokes, man. It's entertaining. But that's just my opinion. I want to know what you lot think about Rick Ross's response to Kendrick Lamar's diss to Drake. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It'd be much appreciated. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.